Before I complete the, the, the Doppler effect, uh, the distance, uh, wave compression, and the impact of the moving object on the compression of the waveform and so on, I wanted to talk about an important application which could be used in, in um, astronomy. So, and this is about emission absorption spectra of uh, atoms. So each atom, for instance, um, helium, or oxygen and neon or uh, argon. Uh, so they will produce um, light when the, the electrons, they change their orbits. But then when they produce this light, they produce a specific frequencies or a specific wavelength. They cannot produce anything else. Now, if you have an unknown gas, which has these uh, frequencies you you get the emitted light so you you increase the temperature of this gas and then these gases start to produce light and then you get these lights and then you you decompose these lights and you see these frequencies so for instance here you see that you have this uh, frequency and then based on the lights that is produced by the unknown gas you can determine which gases these unknown gas is a mixture of what? Not only that, by looking at the intensity of the light here, you can determine that, oh, uh, this component is coming from none of these components. So there should be something else which still we don't know. Now here, this, this spectrum could be from this one or it could be from this one or this one, but not from this one. So, and then because you have these equations you can write formulas and determine exact uh, composition of uh, these unknown gas so uh, so the power spectral density psd the emitted light from the gas could tell you uh, what are the composition not only the, the gas can only emit uh, these spectrums because of uh, the but also if you if you take a wi uh, white noise as a light and if you apply it to this gas the gas could only absorb energy at these frequencies so this is a, so every every gas for instance argon could only emit at this frequency at this frequency but also could only absorb energy at this frequency it cannot absorb it does not absorb energy at other frequency the the energy of the light go through uh, all other frequencies so it's like a resonance at those uh, frequencies so how is possible to determine the composition of these unknown gas or let's say if you have a star very far from us how we could determine uh, what is the composition of, or the chemistry of that star or moon and so on? How we could look at from a satellite on Earth and determine where gold can be found, where water can be found and so on. How we can determine the moisture of the Earth remotely. Assuming that the emitting atoms are moving, can we still estimate their average velocity? Because if atoms inside sun are moving or if you have a star which is very far from us and it is moving with respect to us it will have some doppler and doppler means frequency shift so we want to know can we determine the the speed of stars which are very far from us can we determine the composition and chemistry of those those things and the answer is that we could use power spectral density of the light received from those stars or from the atoms or from the ground, from the satellite, we can very accurately solve these problems very easily. So it has lots of application in physics, chemistry, uh, astronomy, um, uh, geology, in, in civil engineering, and so on. For instance, if you have buildings, structures, and they are old, and then from satellite, you want to see which building or high rise is likely to collapse. So we will uh, be able to use um, using these applications.